Welcome back to Botanical Woman. Today, I want to share with you how to make one of these, um, I guess, trellis hoops for your Hoya. Uh, it might work for other plants, but since Hoyas grow very slowly, you know, or some Hoyas grow really slowly, it works for it. You don't have to worry about it for a while. And um, yeah, so let's make one. So today, I want to trellis up this little guy that I got from Taylor Greenhouses. It is called the Hoya Koreana. Um, it has, yeah, doubled in size already. These new leaves you can see are super shiny. And um, I really like this plant. I feel like it's just, I don't know, it's different. And it's, the bottom is fuzzy. So, super cute. It has two stems, I don't know if you can see, but like it has two branches. So I'm gonna take those and like tie one to each side. That is the plan. Not sure how it's gonna go. This is the pot we're using. I'm just using another pot that I had. I ran out of these guys. All oh, right. It has a lot of holes, so you don't have to worry about um, where the wire is gonna go through because I end up putting the wire through the pot to hold it in place. It does make it a little bit wobbly, um, so I put grit on top to make it a little bit heavier. And yeah, if the wire was um, thicker, I think you could actually just hang it. I'm just not sure because this is, okay, so this galvanized wire is only 14 gauge and the lower the number is, the stronger it is, I believe. And so if you were t wanting to make one of these so that it hangs like this, you know, it'd be really pretty. I really want to do that. Um, maybe try it with a thicker wire, a stronger one. So it doesn't like slowly like start, I don't know, deform getting deformed. All right. So like I said before, this is galvanized wire that I got from Home Depot. Uh, galvanized just means that it's been treated so it doesn't rust. And this is number 14. So you get yourself a pot and some galvanized wire. Maybe before I do that, I will take a hole puncher and punch a hole on both sides of the pot so that I can put the wire through the hole and down into the bottom. I'm going to try to punch a hole so that it lines up to the bottom and so that the wire, I just stick it straight down and use the hole puncher. Sweet. And then one directly opposite of that. It's like gonna sit there like a swing, you know? Okay. And they are about the same height, so that works. Now the most challenging part is probably measuring out how much wire you need. It's pretty malleable. You don't have to be super strong. Look, I'm super strong. Um, no, you don't need to be. I kind of just... I will win! <laughs> Stop fighting me! Okay. There we go. So... Quit it, would ya? <laughs> Alright. So what we're gonna do is just try to hold, I just try to hold it over the pot to see how big I want it. And you kind of get a sense. I think this is fine, actually. So I'm thinking it's gonna have to go, you know, it's gonna have to go down this, this way, out a little bit. So you want to give it, a, you know, a bit of space. But yeah, maybe a little bit longer than that one. Maybe like that. Yeah, that's good. That's a rough estimate. And you'd want to cut it longer rather than shorter. Or I'd rather do that. You can do whatever you want, I suppose. Doesn't matter. It's your life. Do whatever you want, folks. 
Okay. So, try to get the circular shape to start with. It's a little bit easier. I kind of bent it a little too much before already. So kind of just, you like massaging it a little bit. Kind of like pull it along. It doesn't really have to be perfect. Okay. So, doo -doo -doo. it has to go down. So it has to go down the pot and out a little bit. So I wanna say maybe that much. So that's where it should be bent. You wanna make an angle approximately, I guess 90 degrees. So take your wire cutter and you wanna hold, you wanna bend this part out. So just take that. You want to hold it so that it's a circle going this way and you're just making it come out like this. Cause you want to keep, you want to use this shape. You don't want to have to rebend it again. So now when we put the pot through the hole, sorry, like this, you should have an easier time to get it in. So maybe this hole, okay. So it's like on the wrong way right now. So we just have to rotate it. There we go, it's rotated. So now it's like that. So you got one side in. And what I would do now is, so right now it's sticking out in the bottom. So going to bend that, fold it into the pot. So the direction matters. It would help, I guess, if you hold it sort of uh, perpendicular to you. You want it to fold it down towards yourself. This does take a little stability, but it's okay. And if it's too long, you can cut it later, but that's the general idea. Yep, there you go. And it is long, so probably trim it a little bit. And it's not perfect inside. It's not like I measured it exactly or something, but it's close enough. I do the same thing on the other side. So I wanna keep the circle shape, right? And you wanna figure out approximately how much to bend this. So you can maybe even use your finger to figure it out. I don't know. It's just an approximation. So I feel like maybe the length of this is fine because then that little bit can go hook through the bottom. So from this angle to the angle, so like somewhere over here. It's, it's an estimation. It looks right. All right, so keeping the shape, remember, and bending it out away from the circle. Is that correct? Yeah. It's not quite 90 degrees. So you stick it through the hole on the outside first. And then, you should find the hole that it's happy going through, which should be this one. Like that. Voila! This is a little bit shorter than I actually thought it was going to be. Maybe I gave it too much at the bottom, but it's okay. And then, you know, it's not, you know, as circular as you like it to be. You just keep playing with it if you like. Okay, so we're done with that. So again, you're gonna repeat the same process. You bend it towards the center of the pot to close it off. And when you cut it, and yeah, when you cut it, maybe I don't even have to cut it right now, but it makes sense too. But it's going back inside, so maybe I don't. 
need to. Yeah, so it's a little bit like wobbly. So what I like to do is put grit on top. Grit, it's basically little rocks that chickens eat, helps them digest. Anyway, put the grit on top and it helps stabilize it because it's heavy. So it doesn't bobble around. So that is all folks. You guys want to see me put it in? Because that is uh, another fun task in itself. Whoa! But that was super easy. I mean, I don't know. It was pretty easy. We're going to pot this. We're going to pot this plant in here and I'll show you how I use my little clips that I got off of Amazon. You can get them off of eBay. We'll put the link down below. But they're just these little orchid clips that you buy. They're, they're not expensive. This is there's a hundred of them in here. So you use those clips to help you train your plant up the trellis. So here we go. I have some potting mix already here that I have prepared. And so we're gonna take this one off. I've been having a lot of like anxiety of like, look at those roots, really healthy. Yeah, anxiety of repotting plants. I repotted a couple of plants um, a few weeks ago and they, they, they got really sad. But I'm not thrilled about that. <laughs> so should I remove some of this dirt? I feel like the answer is yes. done this many times people trust me okay I don't want to um, I don't want to damage the roots so just be careful tap it lightly all right so I'm gonna position it so that the plant splits in half easily like so try to center it I'm not really sure this is really gonna work dude Oh, it's actually just one plant, dude. Not two. Well, that was a miscalculation. Yeah, I thought oh, there's two stems in there. There's only one. Because I was hoping it'd go like that. How are we going to do this? Because this is a upright growing Hoya, but I bet you I can go like this to force it to not be an upright Hoya. That is not for this video though. So let's, let's just park this baby off to the side. We'll deal with this afterwards because this trellis is not the right, uh, not the right uh, trellis for this Hoya. Oh, yeah. We'll just put it right there. Okay, we'll just do it with these because I have two of these. These are definitely two. <gasps> two! You see? Okay, good. What happened to the thing? Okay, it's over there. We don't need it. Here we go. Uh, which way is this? Lem Hoya Lemonic Monica? Lemonica. Also got from Taylor Greenhouses. Yes, remember that haul? I'm I'm getting around to uh, repotting my plants now, or some of them anyway. Okay. Yeah, this one's really pretty too, and it's grown a lot. Um, I don't know, it's double in size, I would say, since I got it. Toilet, toilet, toilet greenhouses. Taylor greenhouses, um, their plants are really healthy. I actually have another shipment. I ordered another um, round of Hoyas from them. <laughs> you guys will see that later. Okay, 
I am going to reuse the dirt that they came in. Just mix it in. If you want to know what this is that I'm, I just mixed it into, it is my um, tropical potty mix. And we just made a video of it, so go and watch it if you're curious what I put in here. Okay. So it's super easy, obviously, when they are already separated and they're already going in the direction that you sort of want them to, right? So just get them in place. I think that's pretty good. I'm not... Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just, just, just enough. There are boots, it's good. I always start off potting things with a spoon or like, you know, I don't want to touch the medium, but then I just end up doing this anyway. So I don't know what's the point. This is just so much faster than trying to use a tool. I don't know. Just personal, personal preference, I suppose. So that is it, I think. Seems good. It's in there. Everything's in there. Everybody's in there. Yeah, I feel like this pot. They're probably gonna outgrow this pot. And then what? What do you? What do you do when you out, when it outgrows it? I don't know. I'll make a video about it. So that's it. There you have it. Um, let's see, how are we going to, so I'll just put this down and ideally it would go here and it does. Um, try to keep it up like this. Okay, it's good. Let's see. This already got nipped off because it's been living in the box. And now it won't. Maybe get it a little bit more on the tip. There you go. These clips are pretty good. This is the first, I mean, I've received them from buying Hoyas, but I would say I'm pretty happy with these because you know, it doesn't have to be just like that. There's actually a little place where you can stabilize it on the hoop. So I thought that was pretty neat. So just make sure you don't pinch your plant with that part of the clip. There you go. Voila. Isn't that great? I really like it. This one lost it. I have to put it back down to fix it. Mm. So there you have it. Just that easy. I don't know. You think it was bad? Let me know. And if you try a different way and you feel like it's better, feel free to share it with me. I'm always interested in learning how um, other people do things. So hoped this helped. And if you have any questions, um, put it in the comments below and thank you for watching until next time. Happy growing